What is up guys, Matthew here and welcome to another episode of our FIFA 21 Manager Career Mode with the mighty Borra. And today we are continuing with this incredible title race that we are in with Liverpool and Manchester City. I can't believe it's episode 64. Um, wow, we, we've had so many episodes of this career mode now. It's been absolutely fantastic and it looks like it's heading towards one hell of a climax here in season four today we've got a couple of games to play what we have got is a league game against leicester we've then got an fa cup game on the chant which i will simulate i will watch through the simulation just in case we have to jump in um, and i probably will do the same in our league cup semi-final second leg um, against watford as we do carry a two goal lead heading into that one so if all goes well the three games we're hoping to get through is leicester arsenal and Norwich which means we can get January out the way and uh, we're into February then which will follow up with a, a Champions League game next episode and a game against Liverpool so next episode's going to be huge as uh, this title race man I mean look at it we drew against Chelsea in the last episode which knocked us from one point off top down a third any mistake is uh, well is, is huge at this stage we are playing at the top of the game as the highest possible standard which means a draw is just not good enough no matter who we play um so yeah that draw to chelsea was 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 a disappointing one um and looking at the uh yeah the liverpool games away from home so we have to go to anfield get a result there um and just hope we can we can stick with it and that we're in with a shout towards the end of the season but Still a long way to go, let's not get carried away, we are only in January and we're going to start the episode with a game at home to Leicester. So, changes. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the first team is actually not not that close to fitness, I'm surprised, um, I'll be honest. We, we've, we've had to take a couple of players out, in fact, how long is it before our next game? Because I might risk a couple of them. Uh, well, it's Charlton, yeah. So, actually, despite a lot of our players not being 100% fit, um, some of them will be worth risking. Um, so, I'm actually going to keep forwarding in. Um, Career 2, even though he, he missed a couple of sitters in the last game. But, um, yeah, the centre-backs are going to have to come out as uh, they are struggling a little bit. What we will do is we will keep a, a, a close eye on forwarding and Career um, and if the game's going well, we can we can bring them off early, obviously. But we've got to play them, I think. Because we need to bounce back from that draw to Chelsea um, and ensure that we don't end up going in a bit of a slide of form, dropping points here and there. As, like I say, it's absolutely crucial we don't do that. So anyway, here we go. Home to Leicester. Well, here's the table. And I think it's fair to say that Spurs have performed below expectations so far late. Well, second half of the season is there as well. Standards have dropped. The Spence just done enough there. Individual players are not playing well. Hudson Adoy though the runs into the full back. Week in, week out. Here's Sergio Aguero of Leicester City. Politano, he's beaten. Coulson and uh, forces the save out of Dean Henderson. Look at that for a fake shot inside. The chance to take the lead, and the manager's frustration is there for all. Leicester playing shot to Politano. Dennis Pratt. Back to Dennis Pratt. They look up for this, Leicester. Fifteenth in the league. I think their team's a lot better than that. Well, numbered on this left hand side, but well, they'll give it straight to Coulson. Oof, just keeps it. And now a good ball from Origi. Look at the space for Hudson Odoi here. We have to play the early ball. It's a good early ball, too, and Hudson Odoi finishes. There's a worry in positions like that that the striker might just have too much time. But Correa picked out Hudson Odoi and he picked out the back of the net. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter attack happens. And once he gets chests it down, the composed, beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Finished. Disappointing from a Leicester point of view from the defence, but we don't care. 
Well, it can be difficult being a manager at times, none more so than now. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Borsabaini. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Chowdhury. Hunt. Keeps it in. But the pressure mounting. Ben Sabani. Back out to Hunt. Ben Sabani turns inside. Defence is going to have to stand strong here. Oh, the shot's blocked by Spence, but ricocheted off right. Leicester are just starting to put the pressure on a little bit. They've been more than in this game. Surprising they're going to play the shot to Aguero. He'd want him in the box, surely. Plays it out to Chowdhury. What have Leicester got up the sleeve here? Well, they've got a good move up the sleeve, but Pryor puts it wide. What a miss. Turned with all the room in the world. Rice, Fry and Mackinnon were within a, a yard of each other. Could have chucked a blanket over them. But I think he just rushed the shot. Just a quick reminder, we'll have FA Cup fourth round action coming up for you. Bellingham five. driving it's through. This is what we need. Beautiful play by Jude Bellingham, but Ford and can't finish. Oh, How many times have we seen Bellingham charging through, leap, laying off Ford, who finishes the chance, but not that time. Hudson Adai with the ball in. Mackinnon's header just over the bar, and it is another corner. I feel a second goal in this game would be huge. Looking for Dale Fry this time, who heads it into the bottom corner. Beautiful header by Dale Fry. Is that his first goal? I can't remember. It's his first goal in a long time. What a header. Out of the keeper's reach. That's the goal we needed. What a leap and what a header. Absolutely no chance. Fantastic. Could not have placed it any better into that corner. Oh, what a good header. 2 0, and I feel a lot better now. Declan Rice. Rice, Reina. here's Rayner in the pocket, charging through midfield and, and defence, what a run this has been from Rayner, it's a great ball as well, oh and the goalkeeper, and the defender with a bit of miscommunication, and they get away with it, and here's one of Leicester's substitutes, full of pace, Damari Gray. Gray now. Can they get in behind them? What a goal would do for Leicester right now. Pedrinho. Hoiberg. Back to Pedrinho. Dale Fry stands him up. Hoiberg, what a save! But the rebound's there. Leicester are still in this. And that's why I desperately wanted that second goal. A good move. Great ball in. I mean, Henderson's save was a good one. It's just unfortunate that it fell back to Hoiberg. And what a big three points this is now to hold on to. Well, 
they worked so hard here to be in front, and that's been recognised. Coulson to Bellingham. They just need to hold on a bit longer to see this out. Oh, it's not the best ball. It's being cut out. Damari Gray over the top to Suarez, who's in. McEnton does well to get the block there. I think took that shot a little bit too quickly, I think. hudson Adoy carrying the ball forward. Bellingham. hudson Adoy. Rayner is in. Finish it. And he does. Leicester players drop to their knees. The Riverside with a big sigh of relief. Rayner finishes off a great move and wins us the game. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And because he's on his own, he collects himself. Great finish. Perfectly past the keeper. Very good finish by Rayner. And there won't be a fight back for Leicester today. Seven minutes added on. That's quite a lot. But I don't think it's going to be enough for Leicester to pull off something miraculous. Although Spence has missed that. I thought we could maybe nick that, but here's great. Just get past Spence. Suarez. Rice trying to cut off that inside ball, but he finds Pedrinho. Do not make a silly challenge, Bellingham. Suarez out to Hoiberg. Oh, he's gone down. But he's gone down under a good challenge. And that, I think, will be the final act of the game. Hudson Odoi cutting inside. Oh, almost found a Riggy. But that will be that. And a big reaction. And there it is. Bouncing back after the draw to Chelsea. Wasn't easy though. Well, there's no doubt about the winner in the end. And fully deserved for me. The fans can go home happy today. Well, we had exactly the same number of shots to Leicester on target as well. So that was a big win. And uh, we can rest from the Premier League a little bit now. In fact, I'll... Just skip forward a couple of days before we look to see what happened elsewhere. Interesting Tanganga. Obviously, we uh, must have him shortlisted. Arigi, <laughs> Atalanta, wanting for 37 million. No. We're not selling anybody. The squad's staying as it is for the final six months of this career mode. Plus, Valencia offered us 48 for four. So, that offer looks a little bit silly, doesn't it? So, let's um, just simulate one more time and... See what happened in them round of Premier League fixtures. Oh, wow. City a third. They must have lost. Wow. So Liverpool battered Newcastle 4-1. City lost to Aston Villa, who were eighth. Well, the twists and turns of this title race continue. City have lost their third game of the season. And are now below us on goal difference. Liverpool, for the first time, I think, topped the Premier League. We still haven't topped it. But uh, we're back up to second now. And, uh, well, a City on a bit of a slide. One can only hope. Next up, Liverpool have Wolves. We've got Arsenal. And City have Crystal Palace, I'm guessing. Who, uh... Yeah, it did beat Chelsea, so there's hope there that City could lose again. And the invincible Manchester City are now suddenly dropping a couple of points. Like I say, we're going to uh, make a couple of um, changes. So, uh, oh, Ben Gibson's being approached by Porto. Um, and he'll walk away as a free agent at the end of the career mode. I mean, it's the end of the career mode, isn't it? But I'd, I'd like the, the, the squad to end with Ben Gibson in it. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's negotiate with him. I'm not actually sure what he's on at the minute. But, uh, oh, there we go, 35. He's only a sporadic player as well. That's, I mean, that's uh, harsh. He's, he's more of a regular 
But uh, yeah, they're happy for him to to remain as a sporadic player. He's 31 now. But uh, surprised he'll settle for that. But at least he's happy and he's not going to kick up a fuss when he doesn't play. If he doesn't play. As for contracts, I mean, it length the contract. It doesn't matter, does it? This is the last season, but he's 31. So, um, you know, realistically, you'd probably get another two years out of him. He'd be 33 then. If we do lift the Premier League, though, I want, I want Gibbo to be the one who lifts it. They're happy with that. I think there's only one other player. It might be Ings, who's out of contract. But we'll cross that bridge if he gets approached by another team. No point having a release clause at, at this point in his career. And they're fine with that. And uh, salary-wise, I mean, when players get over 30, sometimes they're happy to take wage cuts. I'd, I wouldn't want to uh, be disrespectful and, and, and do that. So I'll probably stick to what he's on and just say, if you want to sign on with us, have an extra 500,000. See what happens there. First time I've done a negotiation in a, a while, so I'm not too sure if my negotiation numbers are a bit off, a bit too generous or too harsh, but they're happy with that, and it doesn't really matter. We've got money there, obviously. And uh, that ensures that Porto can back off and Gibble will stay until beyond the end of this season. But anyway, it is time for the FA Cup for fourth round, I think. Um, we have got a League Cup semi-final second leg to look forward to, though, so we'll have to be a little bit clever with the changes we make. Frying Mackin and Outfit, so they're going to have to stay out. Coulson, Banks, Spence and Dyke still, they can swap. Um, I think we'll only swap one of these two. Um, McNair for Bellingham. Rayner for Ford and Vasquez for Career. Hudson Adoy for Wills and Origi for Ings. Still a strong enough team. But uh, just in case we need to jump in, we will. Charlton are a championship outlet, so every chance they could pull off a, a result here. So here we go then. This confrontation is underway. See how we get on. McNair gives the ball away straight away. And that's not the Corner best Washington. start. And they are over could the top in. in behind here. Well, no stopping him. Oh, some good football in the box there, and oh, Zuma has to make a save uh, as a strike, and Henderson made the save. So good start from Charlton. Space on the flank. Vasquez cutting inside, plays it out to really well Dyke Steele, who this is his first start in. Well, I don't know how long. He's probably not that sharp. Coming down the right hand side again, and so they've ran that out of play. Wills inside the wings. Ings back to Wills. Wills in to Rayner. Keeper saves. I love this feature with, with FIFA. Um, it's like a bit of football manager-esque to it. I'm sure that's where they took inspiration. But the ability to be able to actually see the match while it's been simmed and uh, be able to jump in whenever you want to. It's such a great feature. taking it away. So cutting inside. Well, can they exploit the space out Going down that right again. Seem to be targeting Banks. Jake Forster, Kasky. But uh, in the middle. And an astute piece of defending. Yeah, an even game so far, I think it's safe to say. To but it was like this in our last round, which we simulated against Walsall. Forster, and then we turned we turned on in the first half, but Charlton have scored. Charlton have scored. Well, On they go again. Will there be a quick response? we are 1 0 down, to be. and maybe we will have to jump in. Still trailing, but they're Unless the team can do something about this, Rayner in the box loses it. Well, how long do we dare leave this? Because Charlton are coming at us again. 
shot across needed to be better than that one. Half time, well. We're going to stick with it until the 60th minute, I think. Um, we're going to have to jump in. I wasn't hoping to jump in. I thought we'd get the job done. Unless we can grab an equaliser. No, Rice plays it out. Davison. Jake Forster Kasky. Oh, they're in behind again. On the left. Jake Forster Kasky. Infield saved by Henderson. And he's booted it straight out. And that's a sign for me to get involved. And the big news confirmed just before the game. Let's save the day. Eye on their respective benches. minutes remaining Losing Wills good pressing Ings needs someone inside him Forden Bellingham the two substitutes combining Bellingham's in the box and Bellingham equalizes the second we bring on Bellingham and Forden the whole front line changes well here it is again you're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions and never in any real doubt he'd finish that. Cool and composed. Well, that just shows why our starting 11 is our starting 11. Them two come on and change the game completely. I was worried for a second. But we are level. Let's try and get the winner. Can they nudge in front late on here? Oh, nice, nice move from Davidson there. Oh, and Gibble's been beaten. And Henderson has to make the save. Chances near the end. You've got to be opportunistic. Will this corner do it? I mean, he could have even ran into the box and got a bit closer there. We think we're going to be going on to win this game. It could be the other way around. Charlton have performed really well. Banks does enough. It comes out to Barker. Oh, he nods it up. The shot is saved again. It just kicked up there. And I thought it could have ended up being a foul. But, well, was that going in? Henderson saves it. And there's, Well, if anything, Charlton look like the team who are trying to win this game. And they will make the change now. So corner. And he's fired over the corner. Tyke Steele heads it back no towards where it come from. I mean, I think it'll go to a replay, which we do not want. Options in the middle. In the box. Bon. Tamori stands him up. And he takes on Shot again. To easily, the Straight at Henderson. So we've withstood a bit of pressure. Ooh, Banks with a nervy ball. Bellingham. Forden. This is where we have the edge in these attacking positions. Still pushing for a winner. Forden. Charlton though defending well. Clears innings. Can Ings turn? No, he can't. Erhun Ostumer. Oh, but that clearance is blocked by Rice. Looks promising, this. Career. Might be a chance here. Jude Bellingham. What a save. Wills back in. Danny Ings finishes it. And I think we've got away with it. And Nick the winner at the death. And there it is, back in the net. It looks like the winner. Wills cleverly played it back in, and I think it got a deflection. Well, it did, but it was almost going in anyway. Great play from Wills to cut it back when he could have took a, a wild shot. 
and at the very death, we've got away with it. I don't know if it'll be a replay or extra time, but we've avoided it. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes. Four minutes still. It is harsh on Charlton. They've played very well. But we've just done enough. And it's making me second guess whether to uh, simulate the game against Wofford. I know we will have our full strength team out in that game, but you never know. FIFA, does it punish you for simulating? Banks is, well, I thought that was a good recovery tackle there. Is he going to get booked for it? Oh, just a warning. I thought he got the ball myself. Well, maybe one last chance for Charlton to get this in. So this is it then. Last chance for Charlton. Played back. Bellingham blocks it. And get that is it. Wills gets it away. And we have squeezed through to the next round of the FA Cup. Just on a bit of a roll, maybe. Good win that was. Well, we had four shots on target. Four shots on goal, four shots on target. To their eight. Seven on target. So it wasn't a good performance at all. Maybe I shouldn't trust the the team on their own. And well, there we go. An approach has been made to Danny Ings, Fiorentina. To be fair, how old is Danny Ings? Thirty-one as well. Is it worth? You know what? We'll leave that. This is the last season. If Ings wants to go off to Fiorentina, then that's fine by me. Um, not too bothered about that. But we've made it through. Just We did just about save the day in the end. And, uh, well, he's gone. We didn't act quickly enough. And uh, he's gone. Danny Ings will join Fiorentina at the end of the season. But uh, that'll be long after we finish this, uh, this series anyway. So thanks to Danny Ings for his... Uh, yeah, everything he's gave us since we got promoted. And now it's the, the Carabao Cup second leg semi-final. I am going to simulate this. Um, our best 11 is fit. So I'm going to trust them. Um, we have a two-goal deficit. So, you know, if it's nil-nil in the second half, I'll, I'll be feeling okay about it. If Watford get an early goal, that's when I'm going to panic. Um, so, yeah. For a place in the League Cup final. We battered them in the first leg. But they did knock out City. In the last round. So here's. Here's to hoping that our team can. Play a bit better than they did against Charlton. An early goal would do the world of good. Oh what a move. This has been career is in. The perfect start. Brilliant. Pretty convincing looking aggregate score of 3 0. Well, that is exactly what we needed. An early goal, three goal pass. cushion now. We should be okay. Now he must favour the cross. Why not get another one? Here's Ford. Unlucky. Away. Real danger. Oh, they're in here. Good cross, and Henderson has to save it. His career cuts inside forward, and Origi! Saved by the keeper, but we've, we've started a lot better in this game than we did against Charlton. And I think if we can get into half-time... Oh, a light injury to Hayden Coulson. Well... Is he going to run it off? I don't want to take the risk. So, uh, well. Dyke steal. 
a makeshift left back, it has to be said, but Banks is Banks isn't in the squad, so didn't cover himself with glory in the last game, so trusting in Dyke still to do the job. Well they stopped them in their tracks. Well let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Yeah, very good on the break. Forden. Oh, he's at the post, but he scores the rebound. Phil Forden makes it two. And that makes it 4-0 on aggregates. And I feel so confident. I'm going to jump to the result. And there we go. We held on. 2-0 win at home. And we are through with the FA Cup, uh, the League Cup final. So that's much better, boys. And, uh, well, Arsenal beat Liverpool. And you'd take Arsenal over Liverpool, wouldn't you? So, uh, City are out in the quarters. Liverpool are out in the semis. It will be Borough versus Arsenal in the League Cup final. Reyna wants to play more. He's still in the squad. I don't know what his, his problem is. He's not going to get ahead of Foden. Whereas uh, Henderson's happy, so he should be. Plays every game. Coulson had a brood shoulder, so that's fine. Five days. Always a worry that simulating games could cause you to pick up daft injuries. But um, there we go then. So we've, we've got through in both cup competitions. And we can concentrate now back on the league. And there uh, we have Arsenal. Followed by Norwich. What possible twist and turn will happen in the title race next? Ball away. Lima nicking the ball Another off him. But uh, wouldn't it be nice to celebrate our 200th game with a big win? Lima. Isak! Save from Henderson. What a save. It wasn't even Isak, it was Joe Willock. With the strike. Got to tighten up a little bit. And the short option preferred. Plays it short to Money Ayn. Conrad Lima. Lima. It's been a good start. This from Arsenal. Rudiger. Isak. Banks does well. Still could put it away. And able to close That's the blocked. Goal. Lima's shot is blocked, but we can't get out. Oh, what a ball in that is, and Mackinnon with an unbelievable touch to prevent Muni Ayin a certain goal. What a foot in that was. Rayner plays it to Bellingham. Back to Rayner. Rayner's shot is weak, and it's easily saved. Here's Rayner. Lovely ball. Hudson Adoy. He's got Danny Ings in the middle. It's back towards Correa. Great header back to Bellingham and what a finish! The technique and the finish from Bellingham. World class. A world class goal by. Well, he is. He's a world class player. I mean, it was a great header back from Korea. Oh. He can. He just. Every goal has to be a spectacular finish. Good head back by Korea into a really good area. Ten goals for a centre midfielder. That's incredible. It's been a very tight game so far, but we've so got the, game the goal. Started by Arsenal. A wake up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Maitland Niles. A possession lost. Oof, calm. Calmly done by Banks there. Under pressure. Very good defending. Good play as well there by... Oh, Bellingham <laughs> dinking it over the defence for Giovanni Reina. This has been a wonderful move. Absolutely brilliant. What a 
What a move. Bellingham's dink over the top was ridiculous. All started by Banks' is really cool defending. Good play from Career again, and what a goal. Two oh, great no goals. Rayner scoring again. He's doing well when he's playing. And he's doubled our lead. So two nil now. Bellingham. And news of a goal in the match. Oh, Rayner, what a touch. Rayner's been absolutely on fire in this game. Oh, and what a save by the keeper. In a one versus one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. Well, maybe a touch too many from Career, but Rayner again at the centre of everything. This is one of the best performances I've seen from him. So money I in with what will be the final act of the first half. What a time it would be for Arsenal to score. Money Ayin, it's a good corner, looking for Isak, he's the man you want it to fall to, Henderson with a big save, point blank save by Henderson, and that just keeps us ahead, going into the break. Willock. Fluency of we'll look to par two. Banks, open, good defending. The host is struggling in terms of possession. Oh. Without... Well, how the hell has that gap opened up? Joe Willock is in. Fry comes out, and well, how we got away with that? It's still not clear. Well, Fry's slide tackle just put the striker off for long enough for Henderson to come out, and I don't know what happened after that. But. The ball is the ball stayed out. That's all that matters. Munyain. And Ruben Vesso now. A chance to whip it in. Joe Willock. Willock. Keep it. Only as far as Dale Fry, who just gets away with that. Oh, but Bellingham's clearance is blocked. And Isak is in. And Isak puts it wide. What a chance. I mean, that's that's just a terrible finish. We've started the second half terribly. Keep giving the ball away, but we're not getting punished for it. A real threat. Rice does well. Oh, we've got lucky. We've got lucky there, Bellingham. Great feet. Oh, the ball to Wings wasn't quite... Good enough, but Ings has still beat the defender. Oh, what a finish. Deadly from Danny Ings. He might be on his way to Fiorentina at the end of the season, but he's still given us everything. What a strike. Bellingham in the middle of everything with the assist. Bent it round the defender into the far corner. And, well, we've not played well in the second half, but from absolutely nothing, we've stretched our lead to three. That's much better now, much more comfortable. McNair's held that up really well. Spence. Oh, Wings trying to find Sanchez, but Arsenal have had some big chances. And on another day, we might have conceded one or two, but we've been deadly going forward as always. And uh, considering three of our usual back four aren't even in the team, with Banks, Mackinnon and Fry playing over Tamori, Gibson and Coulson, this is a big clean sheet for us at the minute. At the minute! Oh, and Money Iron shots blocked by his own player. Tierney blocked his shot and was offside. That just sums up Arsenal's attack, really. It's just not fell for them. But for us, in a game where our team was tired, a lot of changes, a 3-0 win over Arsenal is not bad at all. 
And there it is, the final whistle. Great results. Not to be shocked by this result, considering the fine home record, but once again, the fans will be heading home. Oh, wow. Look at that deal. That is massive in terms of our title rivals. City have sold De Bruyne for 140 million. That's crazy. I can't believe our deal with for Roberts is still the biggest deal of the summer of the season. That's crazy. But our 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 rivals have just lost De Bruyne, their best player. That gives me a bit of a confidence boost heading into uh, the rest of this title race. That's big news for us. So that's it then. Deadline day is done. Although a couple of emails have come into our inbox. Oh, we finally won an award. I don't believe it. We finally won an award. Manager of the month. For the first time ever. How has it took us this long to win at least one manager of the month award? Brilliant. I think that's the least we deserve after what we've achieved, to be honest. Anyway, like I say, it's been a long episode, this one. Plenty going on, so let's get it finished with uh, the final game away to Norwich. Here's Shepelev for Norwich. Fighting for their lives in the Premier League this season, as they are every time they come into the Premier League. They are very much... The definition of a yo-yo team. Up and down, up and down. And we can't say FIFA's not realistic because that's exactly how they've been in this career mode. I think they come down when we went up. I can't remember. And they must have went up with us, I think. And uh, come straight back down. And not been able to stay in the Premier League ever since. But they've started quite well here, has to be said. Coulson with two crucial blocks. Can't prevent that from going out for a corner, though. So, Buendia. Can he lift the roof off of Caro Road? Deep corner. Oh, it's headed down awkwardly. Force for Shepelev! And Norwich leads. I mean, Dean Henderson was on the floor. I don't know what happened in the box. Well, here's the replay, Derek. It's a good, strong ball into the box. Did he and die he for it? Need a second invitation. Well, he was Beautiful blocked. To finish. Henderson couldn't dive Again, from a because there was a, a yellow shirt on the floor next to him and Rice. So Shepelev had an open goal to, or an open corner to shoot into. Well, what a start for Norwich. I think the defender fell over because of Rice and then Henderson couldn't get anywhere. So Norwich lead. So Foden. Free kick. Only as far as hudson Adoy. Norwich clear it. Coulson. Can we cut our way through? Bellingham trying to turn. And they defend it well again. And he's knocked it out of play. So a throw in. Is the decision. Need to get back into this as quickly as possible. Oh, beautiful football. Hudson Adoy. Oh, oh, he's given a penalty. What's he give a penalty for? He's been admonished. Well, I have no idea what the referee has seen. Yeah, he knows exactly where he well, that's not a penalty. That's not a penalty in a million years. what the referee's thinking. That was not a penalty. All I'd say, if that was against us, you'd be absolutely furious. I mean, he goes in with his leg, but... I mean, if... If Korea goes down, then yes, it's a penalty, but... <sighs> Soft. We see them things sort of given for free kicks, and that. The same applies to penalties. Now, I've not took a penalty on this game in absolutely ages. So this is going to be interesting. Divock Origi. Saved by the goalkeeper. Oh. Not the best penalty in the world. 
Keeper saves it. We've got to come back now. Well, Coulson didn't even have to put a foot in there. He just walked into him. It's a good ball out to Career here. From the wide areas. Felix Career. Foden. What a run this is from Bellingham. Oh, what a save. Lamana with a good save. Bellingham should score. I mean, we are piling the... Well, we were piling the pressure on. It should be 1-1. One, one. Penalty or not. It should be 1-1. One, one. Oh, we've been stretched here. Don't know why Mola left that, ran past it. Give Spence the chance to recover. Good ball in at Sheppard of the goal scorer. But Rice is there and Norwich are giving this a good go. But you know how dangerous we are on the break. Hudson Adoy through to Foden. He's one on one with the defender. Arigi, beautiful. And Korea can't score. That's three chances. Three sitters. That we've missed. You feel they do need another one to secure. And now Norwich at the other end. Shepelev. Good ball across. Infield. Big tackle from Gibson. This game is end to end and the referee well. Could have given us the advantage. How have we not scored? Oh, lovely. Reverse ball there. Pookie. And a chance to whip it in here. I'd imagine a Norwich goal now. Could probably cap the worst first half we've had for as long as I can remember. Can we counter attack? Bellingham. We know how good he is at driving at defences and he finds Hudson Odoi. Hudson Odoi, can he get past Mauler? He's all over him. And that's saved again. Their goalkeeper. He cannot be beaten. Four chances. And we still can't score. Is it going to be one of them games? Back in business here, and Borough, other side, chasing the game. Well, we've done everything right, but score. The Norwich goal was a bit unlucky with how the ball fell Tom to Hardy. their player and how the goalkeeper couldn't really move, but, I mean, how many chances do we need to score a goal? Very unlike us, we're usually clinical. But we've had four chances, you could argue, which we should score. But if we keep creating these chances, one of them's got Arigi. to go in. Arigi. Bellingham. This is it. Finally. Finally. Another great move. And finally, we finished one of them off. Look at this ball from Arigi. Beautiful. And finally, Bellingham finishes one of the chances. Just to guide it into the net. Lovely goal. I feel like we're definitely capable of scoring a good few in this game. So I'm not worried. I'm just glad we've equalised. Hudson Adoy. Oh. Hudson Adoy with some great skill up until the finish. Campwell. Could Norwich win it? Nodded on. Buendia in the box for Norwich. Gibson with an unbelievable tackle. And what a ball out that is to Career. He's up all on his own. Well, Korea might as well take it all the way, and the touch was too heavy. But Rice wins it back. Hudson Adoy now. Intercepted, but still with us, and intercepted again. Well, it's going to have to be a really late goal for either team. 
Emiliano Buendia. This could be two really big points dropped from our point of view. For what could be a Buendia. Gamez. And Norwich just content with keeping the ball. Coulson. Foden beats him. Runs away from him. Foden's ran away from one. He's ran away from two. Divock Origi wins it. At the very death. Our top goal scorer in front of the Borough fans. He's hardly had a kick. He's not actually had the best game. But when we needed him, he's nicked the winner at the very death. What a winner. What a moment. Norwich have put up a fight. They've been brilliant. And it's harsh. We have had enough chances to win probably two or three games. But on days where you've not been at your best, you've got to get the points. And we're just, with virtually the last kick, going to nick it. I was readying up a second striker as well to bring on Danny Ings. We don't need him now. Hopefully taking off Bellingham's not going to cost us. If Norwich do get one last chance, but they're not. What a win. Yeah, well, it could really have gone either way. It was so competitive for much. So then Coulson is delighted that we played him. I mean, we were always going to play him. I think it was just because he was injured. He was worried about not getting back in. But, of course, he was going to get back in. And uh, we'll just credit his performance. And, uh, well, look where we are back to finally... It is back to turn our attention to the Champions League. It feels like ages since the group stages. So that's the next big game. It's not actually for a while. We've we've got a week still, just less than a week now until that game. So we should be more than fresh. But then look at look at next episode. <laughs> wow, next episode Champions League, Liverpool in a title race, big game, and then the League Cup final. Oh my days next episode is not one to be missed and then the next round in the FA Cup we've actually got Chelsea away which is possibly the worst draw we could have imagined so that's allowed uh, March to stack up with fixtures and look a lot fuller than it was before wow next episode is going to be an absolute cracker but where will we be in the league for that episode that is the question we're top of the league we are top of the Premier League I can't believe it we are top of the Premier League for the first time. I can't remember the last time we were this. Oh, wow. We're top of the Premier League. Finally. We've worked so hard to keep up with Liverpool and City and finally it's paid off. Liverpool drew in the Merseyside derby. City might win their game in hand, but they're going to have to win it by at least four goals. So, actually, they play on the 10th. So let's just skip past the 10th to see what their result is. So we are completely up to date. So there we go. They should have played their fixture. I mean, if they didn't win, let's see. Oh, they did. They won by three goals to nil as well. Or by three goals at least. They did three nil. So City... Uh, within one single goal of us. But we are top of the Premier League with 12 games to go. Stop the count. Stop the count. That win against Norwich is now even bigger. What a title race we are in. God, if you're enjoying this series, guys, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for much more. I mean, what a final series we're in for. It's going to be epic. And on top of that, we've got the Champions League still as well as a League Cup final in the next episode, with that Liverpool game sandwiched in between. How the hell do you prioritise any of them games? Crazy. Whew. But if you've enjoyed this episode, guys, as always, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for much more if you haven't already. Leave a comment too. And uh, yeah, what a big episode we've got next time. But until then, see you guys next time.